Evelyn is thinking about having covering two different, very different topics on her Instagram account. Right now, Evelyn, you just have one Instagram account, right? And most of the time you talk about, I think you do already cover a variety of topics there because sometimes you talk about mental, you know, limiting blocks, mental health. And sometimes I think you start, maybe just recently you start talking about business a little bit, right? Or maybe you have already done so in the past. And so your question is whether you should separate out two accounts. Um, even though, here's the thing, I, 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 I feel like, I mean, it's a good question because there's not, a, there's not an obvious answer that everyone should apply. I feel like um, to keep things simple for those of us who are solopreneurs, self-employed people, you know, bigger companies have a team and they can separate out many accounts and, and manage that. But for us self-employed people, I think we try to minimize complication whenever possible. So uh, for me, it's only clear about separate accounts when it's separate audiences. Like if, if I were addressing, you know, mothers, in one account, and then another, and then and then another audience I have is, you know, men who are going to. Then it's like for me, it's very clear. You know, there's definitely the, you know the gender and the stage of life is totally different, or whatever. Or or re retirees versus young professionals be totally different, unless unless they both have common issue that I can address. So if there is enough commonality uh, in either the audience or the topic, then I, I love simplifying and just having one account. And I think in your case, the commonality is women solopreneurs, correct? Yes, that's right. So uh, with one audience, women solopreneurs, do they benefit from mental health and you know, limiting belief type of content? Yes, they do, right? Yes. Do they benefit from marketing type content? Yes, they do. So for me, to keep things simple, I would, I would make it one. Yeah. And, and interestingly, that's kind of my situation in that I address business related topics or marketing. And I also address productivity uh, topics. So I have one account also, right? Um, if you start to notice that one type of topic from you gets a lot more uh, engagement than the other topic, and however, you still want to build both niches or both topics, then I feel that if you start seeing that pattern, it might justify creating a separate account for that very popular topic. Um, but I think right now I would stick, I would stick with one. So, yeah. Right. I, I did notice that the mental stress seems to be getting a lot more um, likes or more engagement. So, but I want, I'm thinking of covering both and I don't like the idea of having two separate accounts. Not no, for yeah. now. Right, right. Yeah, so I would say, I, if I were you, I would take the next, you know, three to six months to try creating content on both topics or any other topic that you want to, to address the same audience. And then, then reevaluate, see if one topic still has way more engagement than the other. No. Okay, thanks. That's, uh, that's helpful. Thanks, Evelyn. Is it, is it okay if I ask a second question? <laughs> sure, sure. Um, let's, uh, let me do a second recording on that.